Good morning. You're watching Morning at NTV. It's a Thursday. If you're starting to get a bit down like me, it's because you're anticipating a Friday. Well, it's, uh, it's time for us to take note. And I know you might be saying the last year or two, there's been a lot of buzz about NSSF. Does that mean my money is safer? Does that mean more people are now putting their savings in NSSF? What is happening? What's all the buzz? And, and you maybe need to understand more because some of you got that message, looked at the balance and were very excited. A lot more things are happening at NSSF. Talk to us about that. It's Victor Karamaji, who's the PR manager or PR executive. I'm not quite sure. What's the title? Executive or manager? PR manager. PR manager at NSSF uh, Uganda. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, dude. Mm -hmm. I, I received the message. I This morning I said to myself, I, I should ask Victor, can I take my money out now? <laughs> <laughs> if I have trouble now, I can't get my money. You can, depends on what kind of trouble you have, Flavia. Oh, really? Uh, yes. The law provides that um, if you get in some trouble, for example, um, if you have uh, a medical uh, mm -hmm. problem that okay. incapacitates you, so stops you anymore. from earning income, mm. we have what we call an invalid benefit. So you can get all your money. So it depends mm. on what kind of trouble okay. uh, you get into. Well, we're going to break that down. But let's start with somebody who might be living under a rock or some people even here in Kampala, by the way, and they do not know or don't say with NSSF. Whether. So let's just start with what NSSF is and ideally what it does. Well, NSF is um, a savings scheme mm -hmm. uh, mandated by government through the NSF Act of 1985 to provide social security savings to um, workers in the private sector, okay. strictly private sector, mm -hmm. because government already has its own scheme, uh, which mm -hmm. we call the public service uh, pension scheme. Okay. So the fund was set up to cater for those workers who are not catered for in by the, the public service scheme. There's a word you normally use, voluntary. Voluntary <laughs> is a recent development we have okay. introduced at mm -hmm. the fund. But uh, it is mandatory mm -hmm. um, for all employees, mm -hmm. as long as you work in a, in a firm or a company mm -hmm. that employs five and more uh, oh. employees. Hmm. It is mandatory by law. You're supposed to contribute. Your employer is supposed to contribute for you. Mm -hmm. Ten yeah, percent from the employer, mm -hmm. uh, five percent from, from yourself. Okay. Now, what you refer to as voluntary is a recent um, plan we introduced about uh, okay. a year ago. Okay. Um, again, the law gives room for those who were previously members of the fund. Mm -hmm. They exited, meaning they got their money. Yes. But they are now earning income, and they would like to contribute again. Okay. Now, they contribute voluntarily. They are not This mandated. time the full percentage because now there's no one else who's adding on for me. It depends on how much you want to contribute. Oh, okay. You can contribute um, as much as you earn okay. as long as it is above 5,000 Uganda shillings. Hmm. Yeah, you can contribute even by mobile money okay. um, or through the bank. Um, voluntary also applies to employers mm -hmm. who employ less than five, but they are willing to contribute for So my company members. is running on three people but it's successful and I'm paying salaries, then I can still do you that. You can still contribute voluntarily. Voluntarily. Yes. Okay. So now we know. And uh, we know that there's a point if you're not paying NSSF or then, you know, your employer is not paying NSSF, we can walk into the, the NSSF offices and say, I don't know, this is not happening. Yes, it you needs to happen. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can walk in. Mm. Or you can even anonymously let us know. Mm -hmm. We have an online platform mm -hmm. on our website where we enable members to key, key information about mm -hmm. their employers who are not contributing mm -hmm. uh, for them. So you can walk into our office and tell us, or you can do it anonymously, and then we'll follow up. Mm -hmm. What normally happens is that then we, we institute what we call an audit, a compliance audit okay. of that employer. Mm -hmm. um, we dig into the books of accounts, mm -hmm. And then we establish how much they owe, what we call arrears. Mm. Then we compel them to pay those arrears with a penalty of 10% mm. uh, per, per month. Okay. Um, and interest. You as a member mm -hmm. should have earned interest on the money your employer should have paid. So if I've been working for three years, I've missed out on... On all work. that interest, Imagine. yes, yes. Okay. So we compel your employer to pay that interest as well. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, just so we get this right, this is not paid off, is it depending on how much I earn? 
Yes, it does. Obviously. It depends on how much you earn. Mm. Your total wage uh, for the month. Mm -hmm. Um, that includes uh, your basic salary, yes. if you have any allowances, and your allowances. Mm. Uh, as long as it is income that you, you, you pocket yes, at the end yes, yes, of yes. the month, we take 5% of that for you as an individual. And then the your employer puts 10%. 10%. 10%. That's Great. correct. Got you. So uh, help me understand. Over the last two years, it feels like there's been a worth of information. Did you realize at some point that people don't know? People have their savings here and they, they don't have the information. For example, for me, I, for a long time I didn't even know my balance. But now, it pops up on my phone, I get alerts, it, it's so accessible. So what happened? That is correct. Uh, you're correct. Mm. Um, people wanted information. Mm. We did research uh, some time back in about 2012. Mm -hmm. And one of the key things people say that they want more information from us. Mm -hmm. They wanted the fund to talk to them more yes. than the normal annual uh, updates mm -hmm. about the performance. So that informed uh, the, 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 you know, the, the flow, the increased the flow of information. information yeah. But also technology has helped, uh, yes. you, you know, uh, people on smartphones, mm. people can access internet, the penetration is going up. So even that technology has enabled us um, leverage that mm -hmm. to talk to our members more often than, than we used to. You have an app now, right? We have an app called NSF Go, NSF uh, Go uh, right. one of the best, uh, ah, from independent what reviewers. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> so that app enables you to track your savings. Mm. Um, it enables you to, for example, project how much you earn. If you're 25 now, mm -hmm. how much will you have at retirement at 55? Oh. So you can project depending on your salary. How it will grow. How it will grow. Mm -hmm. um, the app also enables you to yes. talk to us very easily. There's mm -hmm. a direct contact uh, of what we call a relationship manager. Depending on where um, your, your employer is located, your office is located, there is a dedicated uh, resource at the fund mm -hmm. who, who you can talk to at any one time. So it, it's, it's quite interesting, um, the app. Quite yes. a lot you can do with it. Let me tell you, I've, I'm one of those people who benefited from the information flow because I look at that balance and I'm like, let me continue working. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Retirement will look nice. So it now you're here to talk to us about the drawdown payment plan. Yes. So first of all, when we just cap payment plan, you we can get our money paid to us. If I'm at a certain age, as you said, if I'm retiring, yes. or uh, as you said, if something happens to me, God forbid, and I'm not able to, to, work, to yes. work again, yes. um, that can also be established. So, so that's so far what is there. Now, what is a drawdown payment plan? It is a payment plan that mm. enables uh, members to plan how they want to use their money they have saved with the fund mm -hmm. when they qualify for it. Uh, that means when you get to retirement age 55, mm -hmm or 50, uh, but you decide to retire early, what we call age benefit. Okay. And those who withdraw from the fund because they have joined another scheme that is mandated, uh, th that pays uh, their, their, mm -hmm. their, their, their pension, yeah. for example, the public So I can't be in scheme. both, in other words? No, you, you, unfortunately, you cannot. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. And then those who withdraw mm. uh, because they are 50 years mm -hmm. and out of employment for one year. So it applies to both. Now this plan enables you to decide mm -hmm. if I have 50 million, 100 million, yeah. or 400 million, how can I draw it? Can I draw it in bits? Can I draw it in lump sum? What, what, what do I currently have before the drawdown payment plan? What happens so, as it is before that? You I can take all of it. You pay the lump sum. Okay. You take all of it. Whoa. Uh, in one go? In one go. Mm. Now, we did uh, a research. I was about to say, did that work? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, we did a research. Mm. Two uh, pieces of, of surveys. Mm -hmm. The first one, mm -hmm. we found that members who pick their savings on retirement or when they qualify mm. um, use, or I don't want to say waste. Spend. Spend <laughs> their money. Mm within the first two years. After two years, mm. they cannot show what the money has done. They cannot and yet a, a good it. chunk of those people are retired. They're not e working. Exactly. So that is supposed to take them through their retirement. Yes. But two years after retirement, there's nothing. There's nothing. About 80%. The second survey we did um, was about 
utilization and mm. people told us if you could allow me to take my money Slowly. in installments <laughs> then i <laughs> can plan yeah i can see what business works for me mm. what investment works for me then when i'm confident mm -hmm. i can now take all my money mm. or a bigger percentage and invest heavily in that 60 percent said they would like bits and pieces, bits and pieces. okay because of that we said okay mm. Why not give them this option? That's a big percent. 60 is a big percentage. Yes. Uh, uh, so that, I like that. So now we're breaking down the features. So the drawdown payment plan means that I can get my money when I qualify for it, when we're going to talk about who then qualifies, just so people understand who that yes. is. But also the features are I can get my money in bits and pieces. Who dictates what percentage I get out when? You decide. Oh, okay. You decide, but we... we, we we think that you should not live less than 10% uh, of your total savings okay, okay. with the fund. Mm -hmm. Because we want the money you live with us to earn income. Mm -hmm. If you live not a lot of money, the income is not significant yeah. for you. True. So it may not make a lot mm -hmm. of sense. So I need to live enough to also make me... Yes, live money. at least 10% mm -hmm. of your total um, savings. savings. Okay. Or not less than 500 shillings, whichever you prefer. Okay, 500 shillings, 500,000? Sorry, 500,000 shillings. I want to give you a coin right now. <laughs> my, <laughs> my apologies. Okay, okay, so, 500 yeah, so, so I decide the percentage. Just give me the nitty gritties of it. Do I walk into NSSF and we sit down and they write for me in between now and 2025, 30%, this and this, 60%. Is that what happens? Or I can walk in as I please and take as much as I please at any point. <coughs> um, you, ca you, you walk into our office mm. and you, you, you tell us, okay, I'd like to um, enroll for drawdown payment, payment plan. plan. Yes. Now, like I've said, you can take 10% or uh, 500,000 shillings, right? That's take out or leave? No, leave. Leave, yes. My apologies. Uh -huh. That is the way. That's, I've put left my 10% or 500,000. Yes, yes, yes. yes, But you cannot do that twice in a year, every uh, other six nah, months. That's, that's, that's a good cap. That's yes, a good way yes. to look at it. So I you can know, only withdraw, in other words. Yes. Or take out my money twice. Twice a year, okay. under the drawdown payment plan. Mm -hmm. It is because we think six months is uh, enough time for you to have planned. Yes. Or even a year mm. is enough time for you to have seen what works for you and what doesn't, and what doesn't work mm. for you. And th again, the research told us that. Remember, I said, okay, maybe within a year I can draw okay. down again. Okay. Or even six months I can draw down again. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as you've said, the interest still stays. Whatever I leave there continues to grow. So that who qualifies? You've already said anybody who is... Anybody who qualifies for age benefit, mm -hmm. if you've reached 55 years okay. of retirement, you qualify for an age benefit, so you can enroll for the drawdown payment plan. Mm -hmm. Or if you retire early at 50 years, yes. you can also qualify for the drawdown payment plan. Mm -hmm. There are those who join um, other schemes that are mandated by law. So they have to pull out of this one? They pull out of the NSF. Yeah. Um, basically in Uganda it is a public service pension scheme. Yes, yes. They qualify. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, so, so just to recap the drawdown payment plan, uh, let me understand also, if I'm already part of NSSF now and I, I, I've aged qualification, whatever reason I've qualified for my money, if I do not enroll for the drawdown payment plan, yes. I don't get the benefits of it. Because I, I had you say you have to enroll for it. So there's a process to enroll for it. There is a process because we want you to decide. Okay. So Either you want a lump sum. Force. No, no, no. no. <laughs> and and Flavia, this, that is a key thing. Yes. It is optional. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it does not replace the existing mm. system of paying a lump yes. sum upon qualification. Mm -hmm. It is optional. Okay. You can decide, I want all my money. Mm -hmm. I go, I know what to do with it. <laughs> I or, already planned. Mm. Yes. Or... I'd like to take my time, mm -hmm. plan for it, and therefore mm -hmm. a, a drawdown payment plan works for me. So okay. it is optional. Members choose mm -hmm. where they want to enroll. Do I choose it at a point when I've already qualified, I'm retiring, or whatever reason? I can, even now, I can walk in and say, just ahead of time, let me register myself down for this drawdown payment plan. No, no, be because it is for those members who qualify, mm. 
you can you can only enroll upon qualification. Okay. So, so not now. <laughs> no, uh, not now. Yeah. But it is good to plan. Yes. It doesn't harm uh, harm anyone to walk into office. Say, guys, maybe I have one year to go. Mm, mm. Talk to me about drawdown yes. payment. How how can I plan uh, for my savings? Mm -hmm. We will talk to you. Okay. We actually encourage people to come and talk to us about this plan. I was, is there a value in walking in at 48 even and saying, I, I'm seeing a few years to come. I might I might be. What happens? How do I get my money? So that I get all the information before actually at that point. We actually encourage members to do that. Mm. Come to any of our offices across the country and talk to us mm -hmm. so you can plan. Um, look at your statement, for example. You may find there are some gaps. You may find hmm. your employer missed uh, uh, paying for you for some months. That happens? That happens sometimes. Wow. It happens. So when you come and you look through your statement, that helps you and helps us to actually go to your employer and I was say... about to say, who goes after that? Is it me to go and, and beat down my boss or you'll do that for me? We'll do that, <laughs> we, we, we'll do that for you. We'll do that for you. All right. Okay. So um, we spoke about interest a lot and threw it around, but... Uh, let's let's talk. What what am I getting off my money? And then if I'm part of the drawdown payment plan and I've left my other ten percent there, it's still earning interest. Is it the same interest you would have earned even now as Flavia's money is sitting there? It is the same interest. Mm -hmm. um, when the minister declares interest um, before first October mm -hmm. of every financial year, we credit that interest to members' accounts. Okay. Um, at the opening balance of that financial year. Mm -hmm. So. Whatever you have left with us still earns uh, that interest. Mm -hmm. However, if you draw before the minister declares that interest, okay. then we, we still pay you interest, mm -hmm. but we pay you only 2.5%, which is uh, by law. So this is before October? Before declaration of the new okay. interest rate. Mm -hmm. We still pay you interest by law, which is 2.5%. Mm -hmm. But after declaration, mm -hmm your money uh, still earns that interest that the minister declares. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the point yeah. is that whatever money you have with the fund, mm -hmm. we still earn interest as long as it is with the fund because it is invested yes, and yes, making yes, more yes. money. So okay. it earns interest. Okay, so help me understand. There was the voluntary ones you spoke about, yes. uh, but then there's also now I'm part of the drawdown payment plan. I've left my 10%. Yes. I'm sure at some point I can come and take even the 10%, which yes. then makes our relationship, me and NSSF, done yes but also have it how long can someone keep their money there if they've already started this drawdown payment plan and they've taken some chunks of money out can it stay for years and years it can stay for years up and up until you're 60 years because ah. the law so says an age cap yes the law says when you're 60 years mm -hmm. the fund is supposed to close your account mm. yes so you can leave your money with us mm -hmm. for so many years. If you retire, early retirement, for example, at 51 yes. or 52, mm -hmm. up to 60 years, you can still leave us with your money. Mm -hmm. At 60 years, by law, mm -hmm. we will close your account. Oh. By law, yes. So, so those who are still working, even at 60, <laughs> your money, you will be given all your money at that point. So even if I'm part of the drawdown payment plan, even my 10% that I had remaining, will be given to me yes, we once I clock 60. 60 years. All right, great. I think we pretty much noted everything. I've crammed it. But d d just for now, if somebody wants to walk in, because you see me, I have an SSF. I think I last walked into an SSF to ask about my money years ago. Now things find me on my phone. Yes. But uh, d just for people who, is it just on the app? Can I find everything on just if my password changed? You know, any information I might want to know as someone saving with NSSF. Is mm. everything on the app? You can find most of what you require on the app. Mm -hmm. You can find a lot more information on our website. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can find a lot more um, on our social media pages, mm -hmm. Facebook and, and Twitter. Yeah. And then our offices. Okay. Those are touch points so we interact oh, okay. with, the, with our Offices, members. website, and social media. And social well, media if you have a query on social media pages, they can be able to direct you. We if my next of kin changed, because my registered for NSSF for a long time ago, I wasn't sure who my <laughs> next of kin is. Can I go back, you know, edit my information, things like that? We, you may, you're not able to edit as of now, oh, but you can really? come to us and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and change. You know, we don't want you to edit because you, you have to prove, you have to oh, give okay. some so kind of Oh, okay, so I can proof. edit my information, but with somebody at NSSF at the offices. E exactly, ah, exactly. That's okay. exactly. That's okay. If you have, <laughs> if, if you get married, mm. if you have uh, 
children, children yes. you come and then you add them as, as your next of kin. Fantastic. Editing is an issue because you, you just never know. We need to be sure <laughs> that actually this is you. This is you mm. and this is the information you want changed. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Victor Karamoji, PR manager at NSSF. They have the new drawdown payment plan. This is only for those who are qualifying 55 or early 50. Yes. And if you're going to take out your money, they're saying that they are aware you don't want all your money at a go because then you're stuck. You don't know what to do with it or you're wasting it. He didn't want to use the word, I'm going to use it. He didn't, you waste the money. So if you want to say bit by bit until I turn 60, give me my money, they're saying all you have to do is keep 10% in that savings yes. account. If you can do that, keep taking the other. And that's only twice a year, uh, yeah. by the way. Thank you so much for your time this morning. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Right. Yeah. That's it for Morning at NTV. Have yourselves a good day.